Fresno State will be coached yeah. by a new interim coach, yeah. Lee Marks. After that, former Bulldogs coach Jeff Tepper will start his second stint with the team. Yeah, and another big move out west. Eves came at Oregon, where Mario Cristobal left for his alma mater, Miami. So the Ducks will now be led next season by Georgia defensive coordinator Dan Lanning. Oh, we're so pleased to be joined by the new head coach of the Oregon Ducks, Dan Lanning. And uh, coach, I very intentionally put on my red shirt just for this interview. So I'm going to start there as a Georgia fan. How could you? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love uh, it. Your, hey, the, your passion shows through right now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm very, very passionate. Uh, this is what happens, right? It's all credit to you because when you are a part of a team like Georgia, when you put what you did out there, obviously people want to poach. People want to give you opportunities, and you're doing that. But you're going to stay with Georgia through the college football playoff. How did you come to that decision balancing a playoff run with getting things started in Eugene? Yeah, I mean, ultimately it was never a decision. I wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for our players. And um, it would be totally unfair to our guys if if I left in this opportunity and, and didn't finish what we started here. So I'm grateful that Coach Smart would, would let me come back and help, um, but certainly have some unfinished business. We saw the news this week that Oregon's freshman running back, Seven McGee, put out there on Monday he was going to leave the program. And then 90 minutes later, after talking to you, he said, never mind, I'm going to stay. What did you say to him? I got the magic touch, right? <laughs> no, um, it looks, uh, I, I think it's, it's so hard in, in today's day and age to be able to connect with players quickly. And there's just not enough time in the day. I'm, I wasn't even really on campus for, for a day. Um, but my goal is to get with every single player, whether it be through text message, sit down meeting. And uh, I think seven just need to be able to have somebody to sit down with them and, and talk to them about the vision of the program. And, um, you know, give us an opportunity, like I said before, not not to trust us, but an opportunity to earn his trust. And um, I'm very appreciative that he's willing to do that. You certainly have a Pac-12 connection. You were a Pac-12 grad assistant with Arizona State. Why did you feel like Oregon was the right fit for you? Because I remember watching Marcus Mariota run all over <laughs> me when I was at ASU. And uh, I want some of that speed. No, I uh, look, Oregon's a premier brand. Oregon's uh, a, a team that it doesn't matter what spot in the nation you're at. Uh, you recognize it. And for me, I, I never wanted to leave Georgia for anything less than uh, a job that I thought was an elite one. And this is that. It's very elite, right? It's Oregon. In fact, some people are saying that the fact it is your first head coaching job and it is at a place like Oregon puts you at a little bit of a disadvantage. What would you say to those people? Uh, sit back and watch. Sit back and watch. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited. This is a great opportunity. Um, we've got a great, a great uh, group of players that I'm excited to go coach. Uh, and I think time will tell. Well, I can't wait to watch you do that. But first, I'm going to watch you beat Michigan. Let's go, coach. Do it for Dan. Dan Lang joining <laughs> us. Do it for yourself. Let's but go. Let's go, dogs. I just, I know you can't bark right now, but I'm just saying I see the helmet behind you. Coach Dan Lanning, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, congratulations on your new job and good luck. What a way to go out with a natty. I'm just saying it'd be a great start for you there in Eugene. We appreciate you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.